Hi everyone, it's David from Sherwood Ford. Along with Drew. And today on Motor Monday, have you ever forgotten to take care of your battery? You know, it, it, it happens, right? You, you, you drive your vehicle, it's the last thing you really think about until it dies. And we've all been there and done that, haven't we? Right, yeah, no, so today we're gonna give you a few tips. Yep. Um, a few things that you can do to keep make sure that that battery doesn't die, you know, at the worst possible time. Exactly, and so uh, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is locate the battery under your engine hood. And this is pretty basic, so uh, Drew's gonna help us out here, bring the camera up. We're gonna show you how to locate that battery underneath the hood. What you're looking for is something that's a hard cased, looks like a rectangle, right? It's really hard plastic. Every vehicle has a, a battery like this. And uh, you'll notice the terminals on the top, they kind of look like, they kind of look like thimbles when the, when the connectors are removed. Uh, those are going to look like thimbles on the top of the uh, uh, of the battery. So that's kind of how they look. So uh, Drew, you want to take it maybe from uh, this point on? Sure. Yeah. So what are we talking about now? Most batteries today are well. Most batteries today are closed cell like this. So other than the connections, I mean that's all that you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about water levels inside. Mm -hmm. um, you know the electrolytes, the charge that the water's getting. Um, strictly, all you've got to worry about is your connection. So mm -hmm. the first thing we're going to do is, is obviously you need to clean these sometimes, mm -hmm. um, or if you need to disconnect, how do you disconnect it? Oh yeah, let's 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 show them that actually. So we've got a quick socket here, as you can see on uh, on the connection. Um, we've got a few nuts here, uh, positive, negative. Mm -hmm. Now, which one are you going to want to disconnect first when you're disconnecting your battery? Right. You mind if I show them how to do that? Definitely. Pass this over to you. Okay. So, as Drew mentioned, we've got the positive and the negative. And this is very important to remember that when you're disconnecting your battery, always remove the negative first. And then in the reverse order, when you're putting the terminals back on, positive, negative. So, negative first. So, in order to remove the connector, you're simply going to... Uh, unloosen the tightening bolt here, little uh, little nut. So that loosens off, and then we're just simply going to swivel it gently and lifting at the same time. Boom. Okay. So that's how easy it is to remove that uh, connector. Again, the reverse order: first the positive on, and then back with the negative. Swivel it down nice and tight, and tighten up your uh, tightening nut. Just till it's nice and firm. Guys, you don't want to crank on this. Okay, just like that. Easy peasy. So one of the other things that you're going to want to do, uh, as Drew talked about, is you're going to want to, you know, maintain those connectors as well. But before we get to that, we've got a sample of a battery over here. I want you to show them, uh, Drew. Sure. Let me grab the phone there for you. Okay, so what do we have over here? All right, so this would be an example of you know, the opposite of one of the newer batteries that we put in all the Ford models, but uh, where that is a closed model, this would be an open model uh, where there is actually water levels that you need to check. Mm -hmm. So this would be a maintenance-free wet cell battery. This is non-maintenance-free. Non-maintenance-free, right. Right, yes. the maintenance-free ones, you don't need anything. Right, pretty much. All yeah. you gotta do is clean the connections on those. On this, mm -hmm. you do have to worry about the water level and your electrolytes inside the battery. Okay along with making sure that the uh, the connections are nice and clean. So this mm -hmm. is an old used battery. Yeah. Now it's actually still got plenty of charge, mm -hmm. um, but you can see that this person probably hasn't taken that great a care of it. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of corrosion around the connections. Yep. Um, and then you can see the caps here. This is where the fluid is gonna be inside. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, if you were somebody who had a battery like this and you wanted to maintain it yourself, mm -hmm. now this is where you're gonna wanna take extra care. Um, you know, you're going to want to wear protective glasses, gloves. Um, this is acidic acid and this is not very fun. So you want to make sure that you are extremely careful if you're using something like this. Yeah, I like take this. it to my mechanic, probably mechanic. Yeah. yeah, your best bet is to just have it to take and look at when you come by for service and the mechanics are all set up to take care of this properly. Right, right. Okay, well then let's talk about, let's cleaning this battery unit here. Yes. So as, as we've shown here, we've got a lot of corrosion. It's dried on acid. And, and this can actually reduce the lifespan of your battery and its performance. And so it's really something that's easy for you to do at home uh, to clean. And all you need is a solution of baking powder or baking soda and uh, distilled water. So you mix up this little bit of a paste 
put the paste on and take a brush. Now, if you're going to use a steel brush, guys, you want to be careful that you don't, you know, connect the two posts because you're going to have some sparks. So if you're cleaning it with a wire brush, make sure you're very careful. Shine up that post nice and shiny, get rid of all that acid on both the posts and then, you know, dry it up and keep it nice and clean. Uh, let me check if there was anything that I might have missed there. Yeah, that's about it. So again, we've got the positive and the negative. Clean it up. You know, while we're here, one as well check for the casing as well, right? You want to make sure that that casing doesn't have any bulges, you know, no cracks around the sides or on the top, okay? So check your battery. It's something that you should do probably once every six months or so. Keep it nice and clean, and you know, you'll extend the life of, uh, of your battery. So um, now the other thing that we're going to talk about next is inspecting it for charge and for voltage, right? Yes. So I've got here on the side a little handy device. Now this isn't something that everybody has, unfortunately. Uh, it's a really handy device that the mechanics use in the shop. And it's really simple to use. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that our battery has a voltage of 12.4, 12.5, maybe 12.6 volts. And they're also going to be able to check the charge. So let's hook it up over here. So we're going to, kind of a hard one to see here, but it's so dirty. We're going to hook up the, uh, okay, remember, negative, positive first in reverse order, followed by negative. Now you'll come up here closely. You can actually see here, battery status, 12.61 volts. Now we could go through the entire diagnostic process and check everything out for us. I'm not gonna take the time to do that now, but these are a handy quick device to be able to check just how well your battery is performing and its charge. Now speaking of charges, there's something you wanted to maybe mention about that there. Well, I'll yeah, take the camera the from camera. you here and we'll turn around. Now, if we talk about where, you know, we haven't seen any cold weather yet, really. Mm -hmm. um, but when we start getting into those minus 20, minus 30, and sometimes in Edmonton, minus 40, um, you know, that is when that, that cold temperature can really affect your battery. So, you know, fully charged, brand new battery, that's actually going to be just fine, actually, till minus 60. Mm -hmm. But when you've got a discharged battery, you know, if it was fully discharged, it can start freezing at zero degrees. So that is where you're gonna run into those issues of, you mm -hmm. know, it's minus 20, your vehicle doesn't start. Yep. So going into these cold months, you wanna make sure that your battery does have plenty of, uh, plenty of power left in it, mm -hmm. so that you'll get that uh, nice, easy start in the mm -hmm. middle. Mm -hmm. The other thing that you can do, um, if you're doing short commutes, that battery is not gonna get enough recharge from the alternator in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. So you'll constantly be losing a bit of the, the power in it's the battery. It's discharge. Yeah, discharge. So what you can do is you can use a, a, a charger essentially um, that will help keep the level, your power level in your battery mm -hmm. topped up all the time. So we've right. got one right here. Mm -hmm. Now these are smart chargers. So you can essentially connect it to your battery and you know, it's going to make sure that it's got the charge. It's going to turn off when that battery does have full charge. So you don't have to worry about overcharging it and possibly causing damage to the battery. Right. So that's a helpful tip that you're going to want to do. Right. Um, you know, discharged batteries are going to eventually uh, lead to a dead battery. Right. And so if you're, you know, like you said, those short stop drives. Yeah. If you've got a five minute commute, yep. that is not going to be enough time. Absolutely. So it's just a, little, a few little things that you can do to maintain your vehicle's battery. It's really quite simple to do yourself Easy. at home. And if you're not sure, you know, you can always uh, give one of our uh, service advisors a call. Yes. Uh, that's your report here at 780-449-3673. Man, we're always happy to answer questions. Of course. Leave us a comment. Yep. Let us know what you want to know about. That's, that's perfect. So until uh, we meet uh, next uh, week, Motor Monday, if you've got any uh, suggestions or ideas that you'd like us to cover, uh, maybe there's a topic, you've got some burning questions relative to uh, what's underneath the hood, right? we would be happy to bring that show for you next week. So until next week, <laughs> have a giant day. Okay, I'll uh, turn off the camera. Thanks, guys.